in the top left, playing for Team Aha, we have Sajon up against Saikoya in the bottom left, playing Nuru for Team France. And Alpha in the top right, also playing for Team France. They're playing Tenry for this game. And then we have Sam Tower in the bottom right, playing for Team Aha. So, my understanding is France is the one team that takes 2v2s very seriously and actually, you know, practices for them and spends time working on their 2v2 strategies. So, that's kind of who I'm thinking is going to win this. Uh, when it came to Puck versus France, we were definitely like, let's just try and win the 1v1s, guys. 2v2 we can learn a lot from it but we're gonna like focus on winning the 1v1s France though France is all about the 2v2 and I actually am kind of terrified of them when it comes to the 2v2 so we're gonna see how this plays out I do I do think Aha has a little bit of a chance to put in some work you see that thief stealing from yellow so they're gonna go for Sykoya that makes sense. They're going to deny the ability to build more than just swords this turn. Nuru can't heal. Uh, you need to bank gold ahead of time if your opponent decides to steal from you. And Alpha, who are they going to steal from? Both of them going for Sejan. They're just going to be like, yo, Sejan, you're not going to have any opportunity to do anything this game. What are we going to see Sam Tower go for? Are they also going to go for Sakura? They are. Sakura is going to be very poor. To start the next turn with a negative amount of uh, money before the income rolls in. Sejant has 100 gold. Ooh, they didn't bank at all. You do have to save a little bit of money just to prevent stuff like that from happening. Sakura. Okay, they got 400. So they have a little bit of money to work with. You can see maybe like a wagon come out. Or double swords and a heal on Nuru. Yeah, that's what they're going to go for. Get Nuru nice and healed up. Alright, what are we seeing Alpha do? Alpha has all the money they could ever want. And they're just going to push forwards to this bottom right hand position. So, this is an interesting strategy of you steal from one opponent. And then put all of your forces into attacking the other one. Because... The opponent that's been stolen from has no money to send reinforcements down. Like, okay, there's like, you know, Sedge here. They have a bit of money. They got this knight. But that seems to be the strategy so far. Is a Sedge is just going to be a little bit behind on that front. And I'm actually very curious if they're going to go for this. Are they going to push forwards? They are going to. Nuru's just going to be there with lowish health, but there's not really much to punish her. And Alpha, Alpha has so much money, they just bought a golem and are just going to walk right down this side. And now, oh, we're seeing defensive units come out, so... Damtaro, they're doing, they're doing fine for now. I'm a little concerned about putting the thief in the balloon and leaving it there overnight but they're okay at the moment and we're seeing this is like i think one of the issues with this map is that it's quite hard to attack into horizontal lines the other map that was used in this tournament has a more diagonal fronts which generally tends to make it a little bit more uh dynamic in that regard Ooh, we're seeing that knight get trapped the knight is very trapped, actually. I think it's going to go down. Overextending just a little bit too much. But now we're seeing Sykoya really just, like, push forwards. And I think we're going to see Alpha, who ran out of time last turn, actually. So one thing about the 2v2 format we're running is just in order to, like, get games to actually finish. Uh, the timer is set to 3 minutes return timers we are not running a chess clock on on this so players do need to be quick 
and the logic behind it is that the time your opponent is taking turns and your teammate is taking turns is when you have time to think about how you're going to play it your turn. You get to kind of, you get those like six minutes essentially, like six to nine minutes to think about, you know, what am I going to do while I'm playing? And Sequoia, they're thinking, I'm going to run forwards and attack. And ooh, they they did a really nice capture with that. Ooh, that's super good. Capturing this village here means there's no wraparound potential on Nuru. And yeah, like all Sykora needs to do is not die. Because, I mean, Sedge is looking pretty scary on that on that stronghold. If that knight was like a little bit closer to threaten for a crit, this would be a real bad. But Alpha continuing to press forwards. And the teams are remembering to deal with Sejan. Like Alpha, you know, they've got this big push down here. sakoya has got this big push down here. But they are remembering to dedicate forces to defend. Samter, because of the way hideouts work, giving the teammate money. So that is not depositing gold for yourself. It's very much a a selfless act. Okay, and yeah, just hits Nuru. Wants to uh, ward her back a bit. Alright, Sejun. Just gonna keep pushing. Just defend off on this north front. They've lost a bit of territory there, but they're gonna push down on Sykoya. Ooh, that's a nice crit. Gets the kill. Ooh, we've got a nice RP crit follow-up there as well. There's no anti-air, actually, so Sykoya Really dedicated to fighting on this right hand side. And builds a golem just to defend. But it's a little bit out of position. This knight, uh, this knight I feel like should have been lined up just to crit the strongholds. Didn't really need to come down here. Should have threatened lethal. Alright, what are we going to see now? Alpha builds a golem, and they have a ton of money. They have so much territory on this map. I think I'm going to try and go to the overlay screen just to have a quick look. Um, um, unfortunately, there's too much going on. I cannot open the overview. But I mean, you can just see on the map how much blue there is. So, yeah, Sam Tower is struggling a little bit. They are holding on for now. We see Sejun also holding on, but they're losing territory. Alphane switched to pressure that front. Sejun is actually pushing forwards. Ooh, that flagstone tile keeps the sword alive on 1%. That's not fun. But now we have Sej group active. So as long as they live, which uh, they're we got sword suicides coming in, so that might not be the case. Beer crits, golem, and dog, I think we'll finish. Can dog actually kill Sedge? No, not gonna go for it. Lakoya is going to play it safe. And now Alpha. Oh, of course, your teammate is there. So yeah, why go for a risky play like a, a potential non-lethal when you can just, you know, have your teammate throw a golem across the map and kill them. Yeah, 2v2s are a, a very different beast, so. Yeah, even though the dog I think was a favorable role, like, yeah, you, you've got your teammate over here. Tenry is perfect for 2v2s in that way because yeah she's able to just toss a unit across the map and now we've got Samter up against two players they are very much on the back foot and I think this is probably going to be game almost could have seen a lethal actually It's actually a bit of a shame because I think 
had that Wolfar groove come out earlier, maybe you could have seen some kind of loot. Like if that order had been done differently, but this is a three minute turn timer, so you don't have time to think about like perfecting stuff in that sense. So yeah, like oh, yeah, they're just gonna teleport something in. Archer, oh, that's a great pick. Ooh, shooting Wolfar, probably could have hit this mage instead, but. I think they'll be okay, and yeah, we'll probably just see a mage shield. Oh no, we can't. All right, so Nuru's just gonna try not to die. Okay. I mean, I think there's like a lethal potential here on Nuru, but Alpha could also, you know, just end the game. There is a golem. That guy's gonna go down. Yeah, actually, yeah, Wolfar's just dead. And, uh, Alpha getting both of the the commander kills at the end there. Very much uh, kind of the MVP of this game, taking a lot of the map, had a big economy, and was just able to, you know, get lethals and secure them where needed. So, very well played. And Team France takes it. Honestly, I, like, I don't even think it's a, a bad thing to say as expected, because Team France definitely the strong contender for winning all the 2v2s in this event. So, well played.